Hello everyone. How are you? As for me, I'm pretty good today. And my lesson today is for third grader. Topic one: A life full of experiences. I already upload my video on the YouTube. You can go there and check my video on this lesson. Let me explain you about what we are going to do today. First, you're gonna watch my YouTube video, and then you're gonna after watching the video, you're gonna go to the description box, which look like this, which look like this. You're gonna go to the description box, and you'll find two PDF files. First PDF file is worksheet. You cannot write down on the worksheet. Please write down on your notebook. After writing your answers, you can go to the next link, which is answer sheet. You can check your answer, and you can do self calculation about your answers. So let me explain you about the worksheet. This is the worksheet that you have to write your answer. There are four parts here on this worksheet. Please write down on your notebook these answers. And after doing that, go to the next PDF file, and there are all the answer. You can check your answers, what you wrote on your notebook. Okay, that's what we are going to do. And now I'm going to explain more about today's lesson by using eight questions and different vocabularies. Today my question is the same. What would you like to do this year? I'd like to go Canada, U.S., New Zealand. If you look at the next question, it says, "Who do you go with?" So, you can go alone. You can go with your close friend. You can go with your friends, and you can go with your family. It's your choice. Look at the question number three. What do you need to do before taking a trip? You need to book or reserve a flight. It means you need to buy your ticket. Book and reserve is the same word. You can say either book or you can say reserve a flight. Okay. And then you can use the same expression for hotel. To book a hotel or to reserve a hotel. So these things that you have to do before you take your trip. Very important one. Look at question number four. What do you need to prepare? We need to prepare, you know, for guys. They need to prepare. Not much things, but for females, they need to prepare a lot of things. Proper clothing. Proper clothing means you know if you are going there in summer, you need to prepare summer clothes. If you are going in winter, you need to prepare winter clothes. And foreign currencies. You need to change your money, your Korean won, into U.S. or into Canadian dollars. You need to prepare your passport. Very important. All of us have a passport. We need a passport when we travel to other countries. And then you need a credit card. Credit card is very good. It's helpful when you do not have a foreign currencies. You can use credit card. Guidebook. A guidebook can be your notebook where you wrote all the information, all your plans. About your tour. Let's go to check another question. What types of trips are you going to make? It can be overnight trip. It can be weekend getaway trip. It can be three days, two nights trip. As for information, in English we use day first and night later. But in Korea, it's vice versa. Night first, day later. So when you're speaking, you're talking in English. Please use day first. 
three days, two nights. And then you're going to talk about backpacking trips where you choose your trip. You know, you can go on a package tour or backpacking trips. Even you go on a camping trips. Next question, what do you need to research before you make a trip? You need to do few research like places to tour, where you're going to go, places to tour, dine, dine mean eat out, the restaurant, and look for the shop, rates, please go to the reasonable stores or restaurants. So rates are very important too. Activities, the things that you are going to do there. And the important one is do's and don'ts. Student, do's and don'ts are very important when you travel to another country because you need to do things that is possible to do there and the things you should not do. So do's and don'ts, please check that. And last one, Traveler's review. If you can go to the blog and check the traveler reviews, you can see that place, about that place. You can get more information. Look at the next question. Where do you go? You're traveling abroad. When you travel abroad, you go to the local restaurants. Local restaurants mean the restaurant that is called the restaurant of that country's. The food of that countries and locals mean if you put s in front of locals it means people of that country hot spots what is hot spots hot spots mean famous places the last question is why do you go what is the purpose of your traveling you go there to relax, to recharge. Recharge means to get your energy back. Relieve your stress. You go there to relieve your stress or you go for shopping. So there are many purposes that people go to travel. For me, I go to travel to relax. So let's do a conversation with my teacher about all these questions and you can learn some more how to make a dialogue. So I asked my teacher to ask me the question and I will give you the answer. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. Oh, Ali, I've heard you'd like to travel somewhere. Where do you like to go? I would like to go to New Zealand. I think New Zealand is more safer these days. <laughs> so I would like to go to New Zealand. Mm. Who do you like to go with? Mm. I think I would like to go with my family, but if they are busy, I will take a trip alone. Mm. What do you need to do when you plan your trip? Oh, very important question. When I'm planning my trip, I need to book or reserve my ticket and then I need to book or reserve hotel and I need to see my budget the amount of money I'm going to spend in that country and the time frame for how many days I'm going to travel there. Mm -hmm. What do you need to prepare for your trip? Yeah, uh, basically I need to prepare you know proper clothing don't pack too much, proper clothing, and I need some foreign currency, passport, credit card, and a guidebook, the notes that I made for this trip. Let's move on to the second question sheet. Mm -hmm. What types of trip are you planning? Yes, I'm planning overnight trip. It's me, I will go there one night, stay and come back next day. Or I can plan a weekend getaway. Or three days, 
two nights or a backpacking trip. But for me, I think I will do a weekend getaway. What kind of things do you research on before your trip? Yes, it's very important. If I'm going to a new country where I've never been before, I need to do some research, such as like places to tour, dine, dine mean eat out the places. I need to find out proper restaurants and shopping zones where I can buy reasonable things. And I have to research do's and don't, the things that I can do there and things that I should not do there. Hmm. What place would you like to go? If I'm going to travel to other countries, I love to go to the local restaurants and some hot spots. Hot spots mean a famous places in that country. Mm -hmm. And the last, what is the purpose of your trip? Uh, my purpose is usually to relax and recharge myself. I need some energy after relaxing. I recharge and come back to my work and I can do it very well. So you see students, we have a conversation with my teacher and I hope you learn today many vocabularies and question and answer. So I will ask you to look at my video several times and write down your answers like this. These are the questions here. If you look at this question, you can write down your answers and you can share with your friends or with your mom and dad. And you can enjoy learning this lesson. Until then, I see you next time. Please keep your mask on, wash your hands several times, be safe, Goodbye for now.